Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Ticket put out a great video a couple of days ago asking the question, is the NBA lottery rigged based off what happened with Matumbo uh, <laughs> prognosticating that <laughs> 76 would get the number one overall pick hours before <laughs> they actually did the lotto, you know, lotto, lottery, whatever the fuck they call it. But um, anyway, man, I've always believed that the NBA uh, lottery has been fixed from the gate. And the funny part about it was it was created to stop teams from tanking games so they could get the first pick because back in the day, they do like the NFL. You know, the team with the worst record automatically gets the number one pick. But because of the Houston, Houston Rockets in 1984 that they believe was tanking games, you know, they came up with that shit. And the funny part about it was the league just went and did it. They didn't tell any other teams. They didn't tell the teams they was going to do it. And it was funny. The team that had the worst record in 1985 was the Golden State Warriors. And we all know that Patrick Ewan was the overwhelming, you know, favorite to become the number one overall pick, which he was. And it was funny. I thought that the Warriors was going to get Patrick Ewan because they fitted with the worst record. They had sucked that year. And I said, well, at least we're going to get Patrick Ewan. Then all of a sudden, they come with this lottery shit. And they screwed the Warriors out of Patrick Ewan. The Warriors had the worst record, and they ended up getting the number six pick, which turned out to be okay because they ended up selecting Hall of Famer uh, Chris Mullen. So... Uh, yeah, it turned out okay for the Warriors. The Warriors never won a championship, but Chris Mullen was a damn good basketball player. Very damn good basketball player, and he deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. But, um, yeah, you know, in case you guys don't know, most people back then then admitted that there was this conspiracy, you know, to get Patrick Ewan in New York. David Stern wanted him in New York because he was from New York, and... Patrick Ewan, I think, said in an interview that David Stern told him that he was going to be playing in New York. Now, in case you guys don't know, a lot of reporters have said there was this thing with the frozen envelope. They didn't do this shit with the balls. What they used to do is take a, a team's logo, put it in an envelope, put this, put it in a in some canister and spin it around and then that's how they would and then they would put it on the board from like one to ten and then you know they would go back in reverse order from ten to one and then that's how you would know who had the number one overall pick now there was a rumor saying that they told david stern to grab the frozen envelope which had been frozen and all night and they told him to grab that one which that would be the new york knicks so that's how they allegedly ended up with Patrick Ewan. Now, keep in mind, a few years later, the Orlando Magic ends up with the number one overall pick back-to-back. -back. Shaquille O'Neal, 1992. Chris Weber, which they ended up trading for Penny Hardaway. And people was like, well, how the hell did that happen? How did they get the number one pick two years in a row? Okay, then look at what happened with LeBron James? The Cleveland Cavaliers miraculously end up with the number one overall pick, and they select this kid, this 18-year-old uh, phenomenon from Akron, Ohio, a city that's like maybe, I guess, a 30, 30 to 40-minute drive from Cleveland, and they end up with LeBron James. Then after LeBron James leaves, they end up with the number one pick almost back-to-back -back years which turned out to be Kyrie Irving and then I forgot who they selected so you got to do your math you got to look at this shit it's what are the odds of that happening so yeah we I've always believed the lottery has been fixed now I'm gonna give you another uh, uh, uh another you know, fact, more proof that the lottery is rigged.
Shaquille O'Neal said in his book, I forgot what the book is called. It was a book he wrote with Jackie McMullen. Now, this came out of his own mouth. You know, when he entered the draft, David Stern asked Shaquille O'Neal, where would you like to play? He said, well, somewhere with good weather, warm, you know. Well, guess what? The Orlando Magic miraculously ends up with the number one pick, which turns out to be Shaquille O'Neal. So, yeah, man, I've always believed that the I can provide more proof, man, if I really went in, you know, went in deep about the lottery. But I've always thought it was rigged, man. So, yeah, man, I believe it's rigged. I'm out.